Charcot-Marie-Tooth disease refers to a group of progressive hereditary disorders that disrupt peripheral nerve structure and function. In this video, we'll show you how to remember everything important about Charcot-Marie-Tooth through a giant shark. Charcot, shark, get it? Ha! Strap on your flippers, folks. We are going snorkeling. In this scene, we have two cool surfers who decided to spend a relaxing day out snorkeling in the deep sea. Well, it was relaxing until this giant shark decided to join in on the fun. Man, they probably should have just stuck to nearshore surfing. This angry shark will be our anchor to remind you of Charcot-Marie tooth disease. And while we're at it, we'll toss a shark tooth necklace on our surfers to help strengthen the association. Get it? Shark tooth for Charcot-Marie tooth? Man, this material really just writes itself. Just kidding, it's actually really hard. Anyway, this big shark is angry, and we're about to find out why. Our two surfers decided to take a big and scary boat out into the ocean. At Pixarize, we use dominant automobiles, like trucks and tanks, to represent autosomal dominant diseases. We're using this big, dominant boat to help remind you that Charcot-Marie Tooth is inherited in an autosomal dominant fashion. I mean, a boat is still an auto, right? And this boat looks a little more truck-like than usual. Also recall that Charcot-Marie Tooth disease is progressive, meaning that the disease gets worse over time. To remember this, you can just think of our big dominant boat here cutting through the ocean blue. Moreover, a big boat like this requires not one, but two pumps to keep it moving forward. Or maybe they're for keeping water out of this heavy boat. Now that I think about it, the word pump should make you think of the letters P and P. And there are two pumps here, which should help you remember the number two. Putting this together, this should help you remember that Charcot-Marie Tooth is commonly caused by duplication of PMP-22. Get it? Two pumps for duplication of PMP-22, or PUMP-22. This PMP-22 mutation leads to the most common type of Charcot-Marie Tooth, also called CMT-1A. I didn't make a symbol for this since I thought it was pretty obvious. I mean, CMT literally stands for Charcot-Marie Tooth. Just remember these two pumps here to help remember the duplication of PMP-22. Man, isn't that brilliant? Well, I guess the shark doesn't think so. In fact, this giant shark is biting through the wires of the two pumps to help remind you that Charcot-Marie tooth disease is characterized by nerve problems, particularly in the hands and feet. The wires of the pumps look a lot like nerves, right? That's right. Charcot-Marie tooth is characterized by defects in peripheral nerves or their myelin sheaths. You know, myelin, the fatty substance that allows nerve signals to travel quickly. The PMP22 gene we just talked about is important for making protein in myelin sheaths. So you can imagine how mutations in PMP22 can lead to nerve damage. In fact, Charcot-Marie tooth disease is also called hereditary motor and sensory neuropathy. Two of the nerves particularly affected are the peroneal and tibial nerves. Damage to these nerves cause several of the signs and symptoms seen in CMT, which we'll explain in our next few symbols. All right, let's pan back out to our surfer guys. One of the surfers did exactly what any logical person would do when seeing broken wires. He got a hammer to try to figure out how to fix the pumps. Must be an orthopedic surgeon. Just kidding, I don't mean that. But clearly, he wasn't expecting to see our shark. In his surprise, he dropped the hammer right on his toes. This picture should help you remember the clinical finding of hammer toes. Get it? A hammer to the toe for hammer toes. A hammer toe is basically a constantly flexed toe. For piano players out there, a hammer toe looks just like a hammer inside of a piano. I'm serious. Take a look inside the piano at your grandma's house next time you visit. Or maybe you're fortunate enough to own your own piano. But seriously, the finding of hammer toes makes sense, right? The nerves of the foot are damaged, which leads to subsequent muscle atrophy. This atrophy then leads to an imbalance in opposing muscles, which in turn leads to findings like hammer toes. Cool, now let's turn our attention to our second surfer. Looks like he jumped out of the water just fast enough to escape our shark. As he jumped out of the water, one of the flippers fell down into it though. By the way, this flipper helps me remember the major foot deformities observed in Charcot-Marie tooth disease. You know how flippers can bend up and down pretty easily? Well, if you can just picture this flipper arched up, it should remind you of the high arched feet, more formally known as pes cavus, that can be seen in Charcot-Marie tooth. Moreover, thinking of a flat flipper flush with the ground should help you remember of pes planus, or flat feet. Again, these findings should make sense. Recall how Charcot-Marie tooth disease is caused by nerve damage? Loss of innervation to the lower extremities causes muscle atrophy, which in turn causes imbalanced muscles. 
And then boom. Next thing you know, Pez Planus, Pez Cavus, take your pick. But wait, there's more. A dropped flipper also kind of makes me think of foot drop. Get it? Because the foot is dropped? Anyway, foot drop is classically caused by peroneal nerve injury, which I mentioned earlier gets hit in CMT disease. This makes sense if you know your anatomy, because the peroneal nerve innervates the tibialis anterior, which is used for foot dorsiflexion. Consequently, damage to the peroneal nerve can cause foot drop, a fact that is especially important to remember, as this is a common presenting sign of CMT. Next, looks like these surfer dudes were doing what surfer dudes do well, partying on a boat with tons of champagne. But it looks like these guys weren't being too eco-conscious, since they threw their empty champagne bottles into the ocean. Oh man, now it makes so much sense why the shark is angry. The surfers littered the shark's home. How rude and inconsiderate. By the way, all these inverted champagne bottles in the ocean should remind you of the muscle wasting in the lower parts of the leg that is classically described as having an inverted bottle or stork leg appearance. Get it? These champagne bottles are upside down for inverted champagne bottle deformity. To understand why this happens, think back to the nerve damage in Charcot Marie Tooth. Since muscles are dependent on nerve inputs, nerve damage can lead to muscle atrophy over time. Seems like we have a recurring theme going on here, don't we? That's right, nerve damage to muscle atrophy. Muscle atrophy makes the feet and calves look much thinner than the thigh, kind of like an inverted champagne bottle. Just remember our surfer dudes littering ways, and you'll remember the inverted bottle appearance for your exam. <sighs> Alright, I know. You were too freaked out by the scary shark to listen to everything I just said. Let me sum it up for you. Charcomerie tooth disease is a group of progressive hereditary nerve disorders associated with defective production of proteins in peripheral nerves, or myelin. The disease is inherited in an autosomal dominant fashion, and the most common mutation is caused by a duplication of the gene PMP22. Clinical findings to know about include foot deformities, like hammer toe and foot drop, an inverted bottle appearance of the lower extremities secondary to muscle atrophy, and sensory and motor deficits. Uh, I guess we should probably call someone to help these guys out. Or we could see if they'll share some of their champagne. See you on the other side. Thanks for watching. For more videos like these, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also check out the interactive version of this image at pixarize.com by following the link in the description. If you like what we're doing, share with your friends on social media, and we'll keep making great content like this. We'll see you next time.